honor of my partner in crime here. We are going Italian. Yes, everything's a feast when it comes to an Italian cooking. And for us, Thanksgiving is every time the family gets around the dinner table. All right, no one does a family <laughs> Italian dinner uh, style cooking better than Carmine's restaurant. Yes. We are joined this morning by Chef Glenn Rolnick, who is going to be giving us a taste of an Italian Hi, Dan. Style Hi, Hazel. Hi. Uh, how are you? My Great. gosh. Okay, when you go to Carmine's, you it is it is family at the table. It is family yeah. portions. You never leave hungry. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this because in an Italian household, it may be hard to differentiate between a Sunday dinner and a Thanksgiving dinner. So kind of. Talk about if there is a difference. Right. There truthfully is not much difference on volume because you're always <laughs> eating a big meal. And the way we grew up, everybody helped. So yes. everybody would put something together. So the only difference for Thanksgiving is really the turkey. Mm -hmm. You know, during these big holidays, you have all these Italian things that, of course, we serve in carmines, we serve meatballs, yeah. we serve eggplant, lasagna, yeah. but stuffing and turkey, that's a Thanksgiving yeah. thing. I mean, turkey is important, but. Meatballs, non-negotiable. Meatballs, right? definitely non-negotiable, for non -negotiable. sure. Non-negotiable. Look at the secret. What's the secret to this, huh? The secret to our meatballs. First of all, we use veal and beef. So you do that. Ah, Secondly, we them. soak the breadcrumbs in chicken stock, mm -hmm. and we what? soft oh. mix them. We, the problem: a lot of people overmix meatballs. If you overmix meatballs, they get really tough and dry. We like our meatballs soft, tender, and juicy. Wait a second. The, the, <laughs> the breadcrumbs in the chicken stock. Yeah. Never knew. Ma, what are we even doing? Softens it up. Softens, <laughs> it, softens it up for it sure. Up. Okay. And um, do you do that? And do you stove top fry them in the oven? No, we bake them in the oven. Bake them in the oven. But we go through okay. thousands of these a day. Oh, I mean, I this is one of our biggest celery yeah, comments exactly. for sure. Thousands. So, wow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, first off, the eggplant. I don't think. Can you go higher? Can it go higher? Can it go higher? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's that high. It, it may now. start tipping over if we go any higher. <laughs> but there's eight layers here. Eight? Of the, of what? Eggplant. Yes. Eight layers of eggplant. Of course, there's uh, fresh mutts inside, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, grated Romano cheese, and our marinara sauce, mm -hmm. which we make, of course. Okay. But there's something very special about your garlic bread, mm -hmm. right? You smell it, don't you? Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. I can smell it all the way <laughs> over it's, here. It's intense. It really is. Mm. It really is. The, the bread is a big part, and mm -hmm. that's like a casa de pan. Yeah. It's almost like a country peasant loaf. Yeah. That's a big, we thick cut it, of course. Yes. Yeah. Garlic, oil. Right. Um, we infuse our oil, garlic. We add um, oh. a lot of Italian ingredients like oregano, yeah. uh, grated Romano cheese, Italian parsley. Right. And we put a little butter in for flavor because a lot of people like that little buttery right. flavor as well. Who okay. doesn't like and some butter? And then after you eat the garlic bread, I don't know, it's usually you gotta eat, you gotta sleep alone. <laughs> uh, after you have two slices, one yeah. slice you're okay. Right, because you start sweating out of your pores and you get the fire breath. Because Absolutely. there's a big debate, you know, whether or not lasagna belongs on the dinner table for Thanksgiving. Where do you Always. stand on this? I personally think yes, it Thank does you. belong. All right, it a belongs. Case closed. It, it's like it's Italian, it's lasagna. Let's dig in. Right, I, I, I'm with you. But we, like, can we get back to the eggplant? Because I'm so Absolutely. in awe of this. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it's not normally that that. Ginormous, is it, or is that a Thanksgiving thing? No, that's a thing at Carmine's. That's yeah. our that's our eggplant. And the unique thing that we do is we don't bread our eggplant. We have a light mm. flour dusting, and then we make a really seasoned egg mixture. We dip that in the hot oil, mm. so we pan fry it in these big, you know, we call them mm -hmm. uh, brazers. Yeah. So it's like a pan, but it's humongous. So we pan fry those really crispy. We have to dry them out to get all the oil out of yeah. them. Once you do that, you start building it. And a very big thing is to make it the day before, if yeah. possible. Okay. You make it the day before, it usually doesn't slide off. Some people it like settles. the very narrow eggplant. Our eggplant is, what, six inches high? Maybe a little yeah. higher, if that. But uh, That's insane. Uh, yeah. You know, and people always talk about Thanksgiving being, you know, they, they say the centerpiece of the turkey, but it's really about the side at the same time. Yes, we got to get some veggies in, so mm. what are you doing? Yes, uh, we're doing Brussels sprouts this year, and of course we have green beans too. Our Brussels sprouts, we put a little uh, pancetta or bacon in there, mm. onions, a little bit of butter, season it. Uh, green beans has a little hazelnuts, fresh red peppers, mm. a little bit of butter and seasoning as well. But of course the resistance is our stuffing. Are you making it? I'm going to show you how to make oh, it. Oh, please, sure, make it. Yes. Yes. Okay, absolutely. So here we have the same bread that we use for the for the uh, garlic bread, the casa de pan. Okay. We roasted it. We seasoned it a little bit with oil, garlic, and a little just, bit of just, seasoning. Of oh, course. I was just like going to ask. Yeah, can right, I just help grab yourself, one? Hey, so please. I'm sitting here please salivating. Do, I'm like, do. can I have some of that? Okay. So the same thing we did with the meatballs. We put the moisture into the bread. Okay, because you don't want to. So we had to cut a few steps because we're not cooking, so yeah. we cooked a few of our items ahead okay. of time. So I'm going to show you a little bit. So we're going to put our chicken stock in here, okay? Right. That's going to moisten it up. Right. So let's get a fork over here. I'll yeah. show you how to moisten that up. Okay. All right? 
So we sauteed already the sweet Italian sausage. Here's our Italian. Go. It's a fennel sweet Italian sausage. Same one we always serve at Carmine's, okay? We're going to mix that in. Mm -hmm. We sauteed our celery, carrots, and onions. Okay. We're going to add that in as well. Okay. Okay, you have to have the vegetables in there. Have it. Mm -hmm. Mix that up. Yeah. Okay, and what makes ours unique is we put soaked raisins in. So, oh. So we soak them, and all you have uh, to do wine? is put them in hot water. Oh, water. No, okay. hot water. Wine is good. Well, That's a good idea. That's good, Jim. Next one. Okay, at home, I think I'm doing it that way. All right, so we're going to put that in. We're going to put the raisin. Put a little bit of brown sugar just to, to make up a little bit, to give it a little touch oh, okay. of sweetness. Just mm -hmm. a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Basil and sage, of course. That's the fiesta resistance. Yes, 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 okay, yes, yes. put that in. We have a little melted butter. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Yep. Then put a little bit more of the onions, okay. oh, which yeah. are sauteed. Mm -hmm. A little bit garlic. Sauteed, everything sauteed, oh, nice yeah. and brown. Nice. Gives it a lot of flavor, a yeah. lot of texture, and of course a little bit of seasoning, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Okay. And then we're going to mix this up. You want right. to mix it up sure. there? Sure. Yeah, we'll mix it. All right. Up Here's okay. another fork in there. Yeah. You want to use sure. two forks. Mm -hmm. So the big thing is to make sure that everything okay. gets soaked. Right. You want it okay. very crispy, but the the chicken stock. So if you see, it's a little bit more. You need right. a little bit more yeah. okay, chicken a stock. More. Yeah. So we'll put a little bit more chicken stock right. in there. Mm -hmm. We'll get it moist. So let very that good. sit. It doesn't have to sit long. In the oven, how long? In the oven, probably about 45 minutes covered, and then another 15 uncovered. You want it crispy on top, but moist in the middle. Okay, oh. there you go, crispy. All right, but Angel's then I, eyeing that over there. We got to go. But I have like, something really cool. First, I have cannolis, but then I have to show you something. What is this? My uncle Joe. Okay. Two hours after we eat our family turkey traditional Thanksgiving, <laughs> he said. Anita, it's time for the Genoa salami sandwich. So that it's always hilarious. like we had to have our Genoa salami right. sandwich. So yeah. this is in memory of Uncle oh. Joe. Oh, That's your yay. Italian there you go, Uncle Genoa Joe. salami sandwich. I love it. But of course, I'm going to dive over the table. Oh, please, help dessert. yourself. And yeah. we have our famous cannolis as well. Okay, I'm we sorry. I'll it. tell you where we're Hazel. We, won't, please. Leave, we won't leave you hanging here, Hazel. No way. Well, thank you no so way. much for coming in. We Good. Really our pleasure. It. Thanks yes. for having Chef us. Chef from Carmine's Restaurant. It is amazing to have you here. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. That was Happy fantastic, Thanksgiving, right? everybody. All right, soak the raisins in wine next time. All right, tonight. Got it. <laughs> 22, everybody. All right, he won.